Good morning. I'm so excited for this first day of WOW Wednesday. Even though I can't be there, I'm actually filming this video on Monday morning. That's two days before your meeting there. And the sun is rising. I think you can tell I'm on a, on a, on a big ship in the middle of the ocean. We've been taking a cruise. We spent five nights on the ship already. And we are in between um, Bermuda and New York. I'll show you a map of where we're going. We have um, about, nine, I think, nine more nights on the ship as well, too. So I won't see you until two weeks from today. So I thought I'd give you a little welcome. I'm Pastor Robert. I know some of you from last year at WOW. And if it's your first time at WOW today, I'm so glad you're here. We have a great team of folks who are going to be there um, helping, helping you to learn about how God is at work. One of the things that Betsy and I have noticed is how God is at work in this big, beautiful earth. If you ever look at a globe, you notice that um, there's more water than there is land. There's a lot of land, but there's a whole lot of water. On most globes, that's the blue color. And um, you really realize how true that is when you come out here and you just see water in every direction. There's no land in any direction that we see from here. Um, it's water all the way around. Um, and it's so beautiful and it's a reminder of, of what a gift it is that God gave us this big beautiful world. I'm going to be praying for you and hoping you have a great time at the WOW experience. Let me share with you a little bit more about what we have been doing. So here's a picture of our ship. It's called the Norwegian Joy. And you can see how big it is and how many levels it has. I think there's about 4,000, over 4,000 travelers, not including all the people that work on the ship. There's probably between one and 2,000 workers. So it's, a, it's like a floating city. So here's a picture as we're sailing away from New York City. You can see the new Freedom Tower, which is that tall building that replaced the World Trade Center, the buildings that were destroyed on 9-11. And here's another picture of the Freedom Tower. Of course, one of the coolest things about sailing out of New York City is you get to see a beautiful view of, dry, uh, of the ship going right by the Statue of Liberty. So we left New York on a Wednesday afternoon and we arrived in Bermuda on a Friday morning. So it took almost two days sailing. So we had a lot of time just out on the water to enjoy the ship and see the beautiful ocean all around us. It took about a day and a half to get from New York City to Bermuda, which is an, an island out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. When we arrived in Bermuda, our ship docked right by this old Navy fort. It was built a long, long time ago, as you can tell. Here's another view of the Navy fort. Part of it's been turned into a shopping center now, and you can see all the boats gathered around about it. It was a beautiful day. We did have to change our plans in Bermuda because um, they had had a tropical storm come through. There the, had been a hurricane, and it went out to sea after crossing Florida. You've probably heard about that on the news. Well, it headed out, and it got um, not quite as strong, so it was a tropical storm, but it still did um, some damage to Bermuda, and they were still, de still dealing with a lot of, of waves and water. So our plans had to change. Our original plan was on the first day to go out on a boat and go snorkeling, and see the beautiful fish our second day then to take a bus tour of the of bermuda and see a lot of the sights there but we ended up spending a lot more time just on the ship itself we didn't get to do all of those things what we did instead was to take a ferry to an old town on bermuda called saint george's so we did that instead of snorkeling so i'll show you some pictures of this old town saint george's this is a picture of the oldest church in bermuda called saint peter's and just a few blocks away was the Ebenezer Methodist Church. I took a picture of the sign of Ebenezer Methodist Church. It was good to know that um, part of our church family is extended all the way to Bermuda. And just as we gather on Sunday to worship God, they gather on Sunday to worship God as well. I'm going to check out their Facebook page because you can see some of their um, worship services posted on Facebook. Now here's an old place right um, on the water in St. George's, and that's where we, they would put the, the criminals there. So I had to check that out. Fortunately, I didn't have to stay in um, that situation very long. 
One of the things I enjoyed doing on the, on the boat itself was to go swimming. There's a swimming pool where adults can swim laps, and here's a picture of the kids' pool. They really enjoyed hanging out there, as you can tell. Would you believe there's even a small speedway on the ship itself where kids get into cars and kind of race around? Um, it was closed because of the wind at, when I took this picture, but later on it was open, and they really enjoyed that for sure. I didn't do that. One of the things we learned, the hallways are so long and it's easy to get turned around, but there's carpet that has little fish on it. And if you follow the head of the fish, you're knowing you're going up toward the front of the boat. If you follow the tail of the fish, you know you're going toward the back of the boat. So that helped us from getting, keeping getting lost. We were on the 13th floor. That's where our room was. So let me pray for you as you get ready for this um, beautiful wow experience. Lord, I pray that this um, time together on Wednesday afternoons will be a time when we can see your hand at work, where we come to know you just a little bit more. I pray for each worker in Wow Wednesday and for each um, young man or young woman that's a part of our group. Help us to grow, um, not only in body, but in spirit. Help us draw closer grow closer to you and closer to one another. Be with us as we learn from the stories in the Bible that mean so much to us. In Jesus' name, amen.